Well, uh, you know, just my own personal case, uh, you know, I had some symptoms, obviously, uh, started the day of the Oklahoma game. Um, I just thought they were some mild things. I thought I had a cold or something. And, and, it, and then when uh, our three big guys tested positive or, or complained of symptoms on Sunday, we had them tested, they tested positive. Um, you know, we started looking at all of us and I, we made the decision. I, I was the first one, I think, after the players to get tested, I tested positive. And then obviously it was a, a wildfire after that. Um, you know, I, I, I'm on day uh, six today. So with the new rules, technically, uh, I could test out. I, I did test this morning. I did not test out. I tested positive again. Um, I was in, I was packed and ready to go to practice and go on the trip. And um, uh, I can, I cannot be part of it because of the, the, the testing out procedure. We had uh, four people total try to test this morning, players and coaches, only one tested uh, negative um, who could go on the trip. So uh, we also, since the game, uh, we've had some other guys go down, uh, Coach Southwell, Coach uh, Michael, uh, uh, you know, went down. And, uh, and, and so uh, we're down to Coach Henderson and, uh, and Coach Price, Zach Price, our, our GA, will be uh, running. The, they ran practice today and yesterday, and, uh, and they'll, be on the, they'll be trying to do their best tomorrow, um, uh, you know, on, at West Virginia. So uh, Marquise is done with his 10 days. Uh, and so, yes, uh, yesterday was uh, day 11, and he was, it was, or today's day 11, so he was able to practice. So he'll be uh, available for the game. Uh, you know, so we just, uh, it's just, it's a difficult situation. Obviously it's frustrating. Um, you know, we, it, there's a lot of programs around the country that are shut down and there's obviously some players places where they've been missing players. West Virginia had some guys missing at Texas, but had the, I, I say good fortune to have a game canceled. So they got to recover and get their guys back. Um, we've just, uh, like last year, we, we've stayed around that number where we, uh, according to big 12 rules, have enough one coach and coach Henderson and, and enough players to play. Um, uh, I don't think it's right. I think it's unfair. Uh, I've expressed that to the league office last year. I did this year, um, to the, to our administration, but, uh, that's the rules and you got to play by the rules. I just hope everyone is playing by the same rules. So, uh, but it's just, uh, you know, it's tough on our guys mentally, it's tough on the staff. Uh, it's just, in, but I thought, you know, to Coach uh, Henderson, Coach Southwell, uh, Coach Michael and, and Coach Price, I thought they did a great job at Texas of getting our guys uh, to play with energy and passion. Uh, that's the, when we did our calls, when I did our calls with the players after um, this all kind of happened, you know, we just talked about having great passion, energy, you know, you have nothing to lose. You, you fight your butt off. Uh, I thought, you know, obviously great first half, um, you know, second half, uh, you know, it's some bad possessions and, um, you know, Texas is a good team and just, you know, I'm not sure if it just kind of took a toll, not having enough bodies, um, uh, especially the big guys, you know, probably took a little toll on, on the game. So uh, you got a difficult task at West Virginia. Um, sounds like just the report I heard this morning, they got their guys back. So there'll be more full go. Uh, obviously, I don't know if some other guys are missing. We'll just have to see. Uh, but they, uh, you know, their style of play, their, uh, you know, their chaotic pressing and that, uh, you know, play will be uh, difficult for us to deal with and their physicality inside. But, uh, you know, again, we just, you know, all you can do is do your best. And uh, 
uh, Coach Henderson and, you know, Coach Price, we were on the phone watching film, Zooming, talking, um, you know, Coach Lowry, Coach Southway, everyone, we've been all trying to help and encourage. And I, I, I hope and anticipate our guys to come out with, uh, with good energy. And I hope we got to play strong, obviously, against them. Um, got to keep your poise. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to do a good job of, uh, you know, dealing with their physicality inside, uh, you know, with limited numbers. So it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. You got to just make the best of it and move, go forward from there. Thanks, Coach. Uh, uh, next, uh, first question to Kellis. Uh, Bruce tried to absorb everything you just said there. So how close are you guys to the minimums? You got the one coach. How many players would you expect for this month? Um, I think we'll be up to seven players. Okay. So similar to last time. What, what's just the hardest thing about that when you are undermanned and undercoached? What, what's the hardest thing about getting through a game like that? Well, part of it is we just haven't had the chance to practice. You can't practice. You don't have enough people for practice. And that's really hard. Um, and then yesterday's right, you're off the day before and the guys to their credit, you know, watching film, talking to us, zooming. I mean, our, our guys care. They really care. Um, we did, you know, we did a little, uh, you know, zoom together yesterday, uh, because we had some, obviously with coach Southwell and coach Michael and, um, uh, you know, coming, you know, having their situation, um, uh, you know, made it even, made it even tougher. Uh, you know, but they, you know, our guys care, but yesterday, uh, when all this happened, they were trying to get practice going. And then we had, then we had to scramble after we had more guys go down, we had to get more guys tested. They had to cut practice short. Uh, you know, just that you, you can't prepare. How do you, and, and against West Virginia, you're trying to prepare against the press and you can't, you don't have enough people in the gym. We don't have managers in the, you know, we've lost, I think it's like, three or four managers have also, so we can't even stand them out there uh, to help. So that preparation part is tough. Obviously you see in the game, you know, we, you know, you, you all you had was Carlton and Ish, you know, with any size, um, you know, I, I, you know, it's just, uh, it makes it tough on the, in the, especially as you go on in the game, the physicality, uh, you know, Allen got going, rebounding, to, you know, just the inside presence kind of took a little bit of a toll. I thought, uh, in the game, uh, you know, so it's, uh, it may, that part of it's tough as a coach. Uh, you know, it, it, I was hoping myself and coach Spiro, we were the ones we were hoping that we, uh, we, this was a day we could maybe possibly go on a trip. We'd be there to help them. And, uh, you know, you know, we don't have enough people. It, it's, it's hard to manage a game, uh, a college basketball game at a high level with, with one coach. And, and then you got, Obviously, Zach does a good job, but, you know, it's just play calls, substitutions. We're trying to monitor Carlton's minutes, who, you know, hasn't – he's been injured, and now you're going to have to manage Marquise's minutes. Um, you know, so there's a lot of things going on. So, as a, as a coaching – for coaching, it's hard also. Uh, there's no doubt about it. I was texting and, and, and with the – the coaches on the bench and, and talking to our other coaches, we're all at home trying to help suggestions, you know, because sometimes you see things and things that normally the coaches do during the regular game suggesting and that. So it makes it, makes it tough. Um, but, you know, again, it's just, it, it is what it is and we got to deal with it. And are you just at home right now? Yeah, technically on CDC policy, um, I can go masked out now. I'm on day six because um, it's five, and but I'm you know I'm gonna you know be careful. And obviously we're I'm still trying to quarantine for my wife because I don't want her to get it. She's been fortunate so far. I'm not sure how because most of the other wives all have it. Our staff's wives are all uh, are all have tested positive also. So uh, so it's uh, you know it's it's affected our families also. All right. Well, hope you get to feeling better and we'll see you back yeah. next week. Yep. Uh, next question, um, uh, Michael. Yeah, Bruce, did the league have to set that uh, particular standard that you could text and communicate with coaches? 
on the bench from I, afar? I'm not sure. Maybe it's illegal. I don't know. I did it. So I, if I want to get, they turned me in for that. So be it. I don't care. But I, we were just trying to help them. I mean, I, okay. Oh, so I don't know. I just text the coaches. I or uh, GAs. I said, have your phones on and let me try to uh, help them. So. Uh, sorry about that. Jermaine was just calling me after practice, but um, yeah, we we'll just we'll continue to do that and try to help and the best we can. It's tough to manage the game as as a coach, and then when you have other circumstances with the guys coming back and things like that without practice, we're gonna. I just hope it all works out for the best and we get everyone back together and get it next week as much as possible and and uh, can get after it next next week. Does it kind of fall to the managers to keep track of those minutes and and yeah and we got three guys on that too. <laughs> so I think we got three managers going uh, that can total go. So uh, you know some are it's 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 a mess because you got contact tracing with managers living together and things like that. So they're gonna have to watch and help and and you know everyone's got to give a little bit uh our radio people are out too so we got there's a it's, it's hit everyone <laughs> and what kind of conversations have you had with shane since the game on tuesday oh we i mean i've talked to him a bunch after the game i mean as soon as the game was over he you know called and we talked talked to jermaine um you know uh you know i again i thought it went well you know it, it's you know obviously you want to win I mean that's why you go out there and, and we had it they had it where it was manageable and you know we we got to do a better job it's you know it's there's always that when we've when we've had struggles there's always that little stretch where we have three or four bad possessions on offense they led to some mental breakdowns on defense we gave them too many a couple easy things I mean we all uh, you know, all feel bad about that, but I thought I thought they did a great job of managing the game and giving our coaches or giving the players a chance. Uh, you know, again, we a few layups. You know, maybe make a couple extra passes. I mean, we keep saying those things, but uh, you know, hopefully, we still got a lot of basketball to go, a lot of big games. Uh, you know, get some continuity. I'm hoping. I always think the worst is behind us, but. Seems like every day something else happens. So, but uh, we'll see. And to clarify, you have seven scholarship players or total? I believe so. I, I and then Drew Drew Honus. So, yep. And is I didn't see Taz Sherman in their starting lineup. You know if he's available? Well, I, the 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 coaches sent me a thing today that they heard that their guys are all back. So I don't know. Right, or the thanks, or that would be back, and it and it would be like Marquise. It would make sense that it was a ten day, and now you're to the five day. So they if they were out that, that Texas game that was last week. So um, you know most of the guys tested positive after Christmas, and you know it, it would be about ten days now. Right. I appreciate it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, next question to Nick Jacobs. Bruce, I'm curious for you, having gone through this last year and having to navigate this again this year, what, what have you kind of learned through that process and what have you learned about yourself as a coach through all this? Well, I think the biggest thing is and I, I was to stay positive and, and help the guys. It's about them. Um, this is They get to play college basketball once in their life. Obviously, they got a year, a year of grace last year, um, you know, and, and, you know, guys like Mark Smith and Mike McGurl and really, you know, getting that extra year, taking advantage of it. The other guys, it'll be in their future. But, uh, you know, they, this is, this is them. This is about them and helping them. And they're, they're they work their tails off. Uh, you know, they care. Uh, and so we got to be there for them and help them. I think that's the biggest thing. I, I talked last year uh, a lot. Coach Kleiman went through it early and the frustrations and, and, you know, he just kept telling me, you know, you got to, this is coming. And obviously they, this new variant didn't hit football until maybe a little bit. I know they lost a few guys for late for the bowl game and things, but, um, 
they, uh, you know, it, 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 uh, he helped me with just saying, Hey coach, don't get frustrated, be positive. And, and I think overall, that's what you got to do. And you just got to grind and help them. And, uh, again, we, I talking to Shane this morning for, and coach Southwell, and we talked about last year and, you know, to our guys credit, how we hung together. And when we finally had, had our pieces together and actually had some practice, we were pretty good at the end. And that's, that's gotta be our, our mindset and our goal. Uh, hopefully it comes earlier than the last six, uh, you know, and, and, you know, we gotta, you know, I, I hope again, the worst is behind us. We haven't had everybody test positive and, but we do, it's, it's, uh, it, I would tell you in the young people, the booster has worked. Uh, the old people, the booster hasn't been as success is, uh, successful, but, um, so far and with the with the young people, the booster has worked. So I'm hoping that's gonna stay the case. And and then you got guys that have had COVID again. You know, do we know we can get this second variant again? I don't think anyone knows that. We asked the doctors that no one's so new. I don't think anyone really knows. So uh, I I guess the good part of the booster for people that are older um, is that it it seems like none of us have really gotten real sick. You know, so, um, you know, mine is, I had mild symptoms. And then the biggest thing is the, and people I've read about it and all that, you're just that tired feeling and uh, the fog, COVID fog. And you, you'll, you'll, if you get it, you'll, you'll feel it and you'll know it. Next question to Ryan Gilbert. Hey, Coach, going back to that Texas game for just a second, Carlton Lingard played a lot in the first half. How do you assess his performance in that Power 5, you know, competition? Well, again, this is something you, you know, it's hard to explain. And I, I even to administration and talking to people, this is a young man that played, you know, he played more basketball two weeks ago in a practice after Christmas than he's done in the last year in one practice. And now you're trying to get him to play in a high level game, you know, against a number what's whatever team it is. And, uh, you know, we are worried about managing his, his, we didn't want to get him hurt. We're not, you know, so the second half, I think that was, you know, one of the Texas I, I, I said during the thing was, you know, maybe get Carlton back in. And I think they're worried about his knee, you know, just overdoing it. And, and, you know, he, we wanted to survive it. I, I thought he did well. Um, you know, again, we told him, told all the guys, take advantage of the situation, you know, whether it's Luke getting extra minutes or, you know, so each guy had to play and do a little more. Um, but I thought, you know, Carlton was fine. Uh, the, you know, physicality, we'll see how he does Saturday with their physicality. It wasn't, Texas is physical, but not overwhelming. So, uh, but he, you know, I, I thought he did fine for, you know, just again, limited practice, limited playing limited experience he has talent and he is long and we talk about as coaches if we could you know if we could just get him where he got some consistency with practice and feeling good he could you know he's a he's a weapon because he's got great hands and can shoot the basketball and then during these crazy times is siri just back home or are you guys just kind of telling him not to well siri went home for christmas and then he has appointments with his doctor there and he was going to come back. And then it, it, we just, when all this stuff kind of started, uh, we just told him to stay there and get through his doctor's appointments. Then he'll be back next week. Um, so he, he stayed, we let Max stay home a little extra for, for, um, uh, for Christmas also. Uh, but he's starting to make his start of progression getting back into drills and practice and things like that workouts uh is ahead of Surrey's because Surrey, obviously Surrey's different injury so Max is uh, uh, getting on the court a little more now and uh, maybe if it all goes right we get him back in practice by the end of the by the end of the month which will be not you know for him mentally and feeling good about himself and also another body in practice never hurts Thank you, Coach. Hope you're feeling better. Yeah. Any other questions for, for Coach before? It's like, oh, Grant. Go ahead, Grant. Um, so, Coach, I mean, if you don't want to say it, 
that's fine. But Marquise Noel coming back, but still having seven scholarship players means another scholarship player left. Do, can we know who that is? Or are you trying to keep that quiet? Yes, I'm trying to keep that quiet. Okay, then we will not, <laughs> we'll not that let go. I do want to ask too, There's I mean. no sense in giving the opponent an advantage. Right? I understand that completely. Um, You'll see if it shows up at once. <laughs> Um, so other, other question I have is obviously Chris Lowry has been de dealing with COVID along with you. Do you expect to get back at the same time as him? And how is he feeling? I was ahead of him, uh, on the, on the start of symptoms, my day zero, whatever they call it. Um, I've learned a lot in the last week. Um, so he's, I think he's two days behind me with, uh, with a handful of other people, um, you know, it, 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 it's hit us all. And even the young guy, Shane, you know, you, you think young guys are okay. He's, it, it kicked his butt a little bit too. So we, Nate Michael's really young, younger than him even. And we had a Zoom yesterday and we had to wake him up. So that's, it's, that's, I think that's the biggest thing. You just feel yucky. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's, it's not a great feeling. And then, I mean, overall, how do you think Shane did on the sidelines against Texas as a head? He's great. I thought Shane was great. Uh, obviously, you know, you after you, you know, even when he got on phone, I wish we, you know, I wish we'd have done this. Wish, you know, it's just it's hard. It's hard to manage the game. He even talked this morning. We just we feel bad. Once I found out I couldn't go and Coach Spiro couldn't go, that was the first thing he when he called and talked about, he goes, God, God how, you know, it's going to be really hard on those two guys. It's hard. It's just, you know, you're trying to, and especially get them, you're going to have to have press offense. It's not what you're going to run. Now you, your, your matchups, you're, you know, getting back and changing defenses. We tried to change defense, keep them off balance. Uh, you know, so there's a lot there in, that you have to think about and worry about, but Jermaine will do fine. He's, He's uh, he's been in this seat before uh, years ago at Miami and, uh, you know, got great energy. And that's all you can do is be positive with the guys. And I think that was I think if I thought that was the best thing, those guys, you could just feel sorry or you could say we got an opportunity to make the most of it. And I thought they did. And it was just uh, you wish we would have, you know, a couple that one four minute stretch in the second half that. You just you wish you could have controlled that a little better and, uh, you know, make it a close game and see what happens. Last one I got for you is, yeah, is that something you think when you get everyone back, including yourself, you know, second halves haven't really been an issue for you. First halves have been until Texas, it seems like. Do you think when everyone comes back, you can pull a complete game? I know you want one tomorrow, but that's a tough, <laughs> tough. Yeah, game. no, it's, yeah, we want to. Uh, I mean, that's got to be the key. You've got to have, I, I think our step, and I've talked to them just, uh, you know, that the consistency probably would be, if we're going to take a step and be, compete with all these elite teams and find ways to win, we have to get consistent. So, I understand. I Thanks. Yep. Okay. Any other questions for Coach before we let him go? Thank you, Coach. We hope you feel better. Yeah. Appreciate your time. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys.